Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing variation, but we'll focus our attention on partial variation. If you have been following this series, you've been able to iron out direct variation, inverse variation, joint variation, and now partial variation for this video. If you have not seen those videos on those three part of variation mentioned earlier, kindly check it out on this YouTube channel just to refresh yourself up. And for partial variation, a little bit different from all other variation that we've been doing, but because it involves two constants, unlike other variation, it has only one constant. So, as you can see on the screen, whenever a situation depends on two factors, a constant factor and a varying factor, we are going to use partial variation. And for partial variation, we are going to be making use of the idea of simultaneous equation because we will be looking for two unknowns at the same time. Because whenever you are solving a question that involves getting two unknowns at the same time, you will use simultaneous equation. So also in this partial variation, because we'll be dealing with two constants, we'll be looking for two constants, we'll be making use of simultaneous equation to look for our two constants. So it'll be very key. That's number one. Number two, this example we have here is just an example. This is the form that our partial variation will be looking like because we'll be dealing with a constant factor and a varying factor. A constant factor is your A the constant. A varying factor is okay, it's also a constant. But this one is varying, this one is constant. That's why we are putting this example here. So for example, we say C be a cost, T to be a time. So we have two constants here. A is a constant factor. K is a varying factor. It's just an example. So the moment your situation depends on two factors, how you go about it. So we have a question here. Let's dive into solving the question. The cost of making a dress is partly constant and partly varies with the amount of time it takes to make the dress. Now, the moment you see a question with these two words, partly constant and partly varies, like I told you earlier, it involves two constants. One is partly constant, one is partly varies. So that is partial variation. So let's see what we have. Let's bring out what we have here so that we will not get ourselves confused. Cost. Let's use C for cost. Let's use C for cost. Awesome. Cost of making a dress is partly constant. So our partly constant, let's use A because we have two constants. Like we said earlier, one is a varying factor, one is a constant factor. So this is the constant factor now because it's partly constant. Awesome. And partly varies. The other one varies. That's K. We say K is a varying factor. Awesome. With the amount of time it takes to make the dress. So let's give T for time. Let's give T for time. So with this information, our job a little bit easier now. So, we now say C is partly constant. So, let's bring it out in our formula. C is partly constant, our constant factor, and partly vary, our varying factor, with the amount of time. So, like I said, this is the form your partial variation will look like. So you've been able to bring it out. So let's 
call this our equation one. Awesome. So the question now says if it takes if the dread takes three hours, that's the time to make it costs two thousand seven hundred naira. By implication, it means if it takes three hours, that's the time. So when t equals three, our c will be two thousand seven hundred. Because they say if it takes three hours to make, it will cost two thousand seven hundred. Awesome. So now give us another information. If it takes five hours to make, when t is five, how much will it cost? It will cost three thousand one hundred naira. C will be three thousand one hundred naira. That's the information given. So these two information were given so that we can get the value of our constant, the varying constant, and the partly constant. These two you know, we say we will be getting two constant. One is varying, one is partly varying, partly constant. So let's see what we have. With this information, we can now get our two constants. So come straight to this place so the moment we're able to get our two constants so we can now find the cost if it takes two hours to make the dress so let's get our two constants first that's the first business we have to face all right when t is three let's increase it here is 2700 awesome so let's call this one equation two beautiful the second one says when t is five c is 3100 awesome so let's call this one to equation it's just for identification. I decide not to put any equation. So let's solve these two simultaneously to get the value of our A and K. Like we know, if we are looking for two unknown at the same time, we we'll use simultaneous equation. So let's use elimination method to we'll subtract this from this equation. Subtract equation three from two or two from three. Anyone that suits you will get the same answer. So let's subtract this. This is a minus sign. Let's remove here. Awesome. Okay, let's adjust this our minus so that it will not look like underscore. This is a minus. Beautiful. So let's subtract two thousand seven hundred minus three thousand one hundred. That will give us minus four hundred. A minus A, A minus A. This one is zero. That one is gone. We move to this one. K three minus K five. Or you say three K minus five K. That will also give us minus two K. Or K two. Anyone that suits you, you are still correct. So with this information now, we can now look for the value of our K. Awesome. So we divide both sides by what? By 
2 by minus 2 because minus 2 is disturbing our scale. So depending on how you actually want it, see? Let's divide both sides by what? Minus 2. Awesome. So let's get the template. We are actually still looking for our constants, the two constants. So let's see what, how we go about that before we answer the question. So here we have minus 400. Here we want to divide by minus 2. On this other end, we have minus k2. We want to divide by what? Minus 2. So with this, this minus can cancel this minus. This 2 can cancel this 2. This minus here can also cancel this minus. So we are left with what? Our key can now equal to 400 divided by 2 give us what? 200. So we've gotten the value of our key. So let's put key. Two. In any of the equation, let's bring equation two. Put k equals to in equation two. Beautiful. So anywhere you see k in equation two, just put two. Let's bring down our equation two. Awesome. Anywhere we see k, we just compute 200 there because our k is 200. Awesome. So with this, we say 3 times 200, this will give us what? 600. So we cannot get the value of a from here. That's our second constant. We've gotten our first constant to be what 200. So if we transfer this 600 across this equality sign, the sign will change to what? To minus. So we have minus 600. So our a can now be bring out your calculator and punch. 2700 minus 600 to give you 2100. So our first constant k is 200. Our second constant a is 2100. So we can now find what the question is asking for most. Find the cost. We should look for c. If it takes two hours to make the dress, when t is 2, what is c? That's what we are looking for. So we can pick any of those equations again. Anyone. Anyone that suits you. But we've been able to use it to get our constant. So since we have our constant A, we have our key. If you pick this one now, you will be making use of old figures. So we are not using this two and three, we yeah, are going straight back to our equation one. Awesome. So this is our equation one. We have to look for C. We don't know C. When T is two, T we are told that this T is two. We know our key already. This is our key. Our key is here. 200. Our key is what? 200. And our E. We know our E already. This is it. 2100. So, 
now that we've gotten our the value of our key the two constants a and k so we can solve to find the cost if it takes two hours two times two hundred here which was four hundred Two hours. If the dress costs, if the dress takes two hours to make, the price will be what? Two thousand five hundred naira. Awesome. So that's our answer. That's what the question is asking for most. But we have to go through the route of looking for the two constant first because we we have partly constant and partly various constants there. We have to look for the two A and K before we'll be able to answer the question. What the question is actually asking from us. You can always pause, rewind this video for better clarification and understanding. If you have any issue or question concerning this video or any of our videos, kindly drop a comment with us. We'll be glad to reply as soon as we can. Help us like this video. And also help us subscribe to this YouTube channel and press the notification bell so that you can always receive notification from us whenever we post a new video. Thank you.